Hello friends, welcome to Insight Learners. So in this video, we shall discuss the Hacker Earth. So online test questions. So this, these were the questions that was asked yesterday. So the first, there will be, so total there is 50 marks and there will be two programming questions. And uh, each, so the first programming question, it is on exhaust problem and it is of 20 marks. And the second one is based on the number of elements and it is also of 20 marks. So these coding questions we shall discuss uh, in detail in the next video. So then apart from that, there will be 10 MCQ. So it is not MCQ question. So there will be 10 questions. So those are called as rapid fire questions. So each question carries one mark. So which means there will be question and you need to write the answer for that and you need to write your approach. So these were the 10 questions that was asked. So the first question is on dictionary and the map. So quickly, can you tell the internal working of Python dictionary or Java hash map? So you need to write your answer as well as your approach. So there will be two space. One first thing is uh, you need to write your answer. And the next thing is you need to write your approach. So in the answer, you can write your theoretical answer like the you can choose either the internal working of Python dictionary or if you know the if you have knowledge of Java hash map, then you can write about that. So just you can write around three to four lines like what is the Python dictionary and then in the approach you can write the syntax of that with the example. So this much is enough. So the time will be very less and it is only the time will be for 40 minutes. So within 40 minutes you need to answer all the 10 rapid fire questions and you need to write the two code. So the programming so there will be two coding question and you need to complete that also. So don't uh, keep on writing so you will waste your time so instead of that just write three to four lines of that and then you can in the approach you can write the example or you can write the simple code snippet so that was the first question and the second question it is on basic geometry so the question is what is the value of pi and which is minimum to two decimal places so you need to write the value of pi minimum to so with respect to two decimal places you are going to write and the next thing is in the approach you can um, write the code snippet for that how to calculate the pi value so next thing is that so it is of one mark so next thing is the quick sort so the question is based on the quick sort that is in quick sort what is the worst case complexity so again you need to write your answer and the approach so what is the worst case complexity so you're going to write in one word so in the answer you're going to write so this and this is the worst case complexity of quick sort and then in the approach you can write like how to find the worst case complexity so this is of third question and the next thing is the fourth question is on basic math maths so it is the two to the power of 26 bytes and you need to write it approximately in kb megabytes then gigabytes or terabytes so first you're going to write what is the two to the power of 26 bytes so write that value and then you can write approximately in KB, MB or instead of that you can just write in terabytes. So this was the question. So next thing is the fifth question is, is string immutable in Python? So answer either yes or no. So you are going to write, so you can say that the strings in Python are immutable so you can write S. Yes. So in the approach you can write, why, uh, so you can write like the strings are immutable in Python. So once it is declared, you cannot change the value of that. So in the approach, you can write that. So next thing is the sixth question. It is on linked list. So they are telling like there is a doubly linked list which is already sorted. So it's already sorted and you're going to write the time complexity to insert an element in the correct place. So for that, you're going to write the time complexity. And then in approach, you can say how you find that. So you can write how you calculate the time complexity for the doubly linked list to insert an element. So next thing is the seventh question. It is binary search. So what is the time complexity of searching an integer in the binary search tree? So in your answer part, you're going to write the time complexity. And the next thing is you're going to write the approach for that. So the eighth question, it is on probability like if a if you toss a coin three times, so what is the probability of getting all three heads? So they are so be careful. They are just asking what is the probability of getting all three heads? So they are asking only for heads, not for tails. So for that you are going to write the you are going to calculate and write what is the probability of getting all three heads. 
So next thing is, so in your answer part, you're going to write the answer and in the approach, like how you find that. So the when a coin is to tossed, so what are the heads, tails you will get. And here you're going to find the probability of getting all three heads. So the ninth question is, in a quick sort, what is the average case complexity? So here in the quick sort, so in the answer part, so just directly write the average case complexity of a quick sort. So in the approach part, first you write the worst case complexity, best case complexity and the average of that you are going to write. So this is how you write. And the last question is the 10th question. So write the doc string for the below function. So here they have given the, so they have given the snippet like public int add num. So in num a, int num a and int num b, which are the two parameters and you are going to return num a plus num b. So doc string is nothing but you are going to write the code snippet for that, how to calculate the sum and you are going to return the sum. So in the approach part, you are going to write the, you are going to like, you are going to write the doc string for this, this snippet which they have given. So you are going to elaborate that and you are going to calculate the sum and you are going to return the sum. So this is what you are going to write in this rapid fire question so these were the 10 questions that was asked in yesterday's test so then uh, the coding question it was asked on a exor problem and the number of elements so the detail so the detailed question we shall discuss in the next video thank you friends for watching and do subscribe our channel for more updates